now to the latest on the effort to help the storm-battered Caribbean. Hurricane Irma grazed the U.S. Virgin Islands. Hurricane Marina delivered a knockout blow. Now some people on the island are in dire need of urgent medical care. News Channel 8's Jeff Patterson went along for an exclusive look at a mission of mercy by the United States Air Force. Jeff? Yeah, good evening, Jen. It takes a lot of dedication and a great deal of organization for the critical care team from the U.S. Air Force to do what they do. But their mission of mercy is saving lives. The C-130 is a versatile airplane designed primarily to haul people and equipment into and out of war zones. In this case, they flew into the island of St. Croix after it was attacked by a hurricane. Trees are knocked off like, you know, kind of an airburst bomb would do it. You know, it's just it's unbelievable. When we arrived in St. Croix, we met Ed Elkins waiting to evacuate with his wife. The integrity of our house is good. But we have a lot of infrastructure problems. We're still working on fresh water and things like that. But this is a beautiful place. And when you look around right now, you just, it's, hard, it's hard to not be emotional. <laughs> Hang on to say. <laughs> Elkin stayed on the island when Hurricane Irma delivered tropical force winds. Then Hurricane Maria hit with much more force. Not easy. It's been tough. Uh, the islands really take a, a hit. Beautiful people. Uh, a lot of resilience, everybody's doing the best they can. Power is out across the island. The power isn't expected to be restored until December. Of course, nature will take care of itself and it'll grow back. Our um, infrastructure will return, it'll take a while. Uh, power is going to take a long time. Mr. Elkins served for 30 years in the United States military and was at the airport hoping to get a flight on an Air Force plane off of the island as a retired veteran. He's entitled to that. He told me he wants to go back, but right now conditions are just too much to endure, Jen. So many people and so much suffering. Thank you very much, Jeff. You can check out the pictures and the video from Jeff's trip on our News Channel 8 app.